Welcome back to our studios. Joined now by Mel Antonin. Of course, uh, he's on the Mid-Atlantic Sports Report weekdays from 5 till 6.30, covering the Orioles and the Nationals. And Mel, let's talk a little bit about the American League East, the Toronto Blue Jays. What's their strength? Right now, their strength is offense and very good pitching. Uh, their pitching staff, what's interesting is the Blue Jays lead the American League in quality starts. Their rotation leads the league in innings pitched. So that bodes well. Their starting rotation is very tough. And of course, the Blue Jays, as you know, has always, have always had good offense. They've got strong capabilities for run production. They're not as strong as they were a year ago, but they're still plenty strong. How about the weakness for the Blue Jays? The biggest question, I believe, is uh, Aaron Sanchez in the rotation. He's been one of their best pitchers all season, but he's approaching an innings limit. He's only 24 years old, Tom, so he's got one of those innings limits issues that Matt Harvey had last year. So what are the Blue Jays going to do? There's been talk that he's going to end up in the bullpen. Uh, but it's going to be a big hole in the rotation. He's got a 2-7 ERA. He's pitched very, very well all year. And it's a bit of a controversy in Toronto. I think the second weakness, too, Tom, is the fact that the Blue Jays' bullpen is an issue. You know, Drew Storen was DFA'd. He was supposed to help Jason Grilly in that eighth inning role. But he was DFA'd, traded to Seattle. Now they got Benoit from Seattle basically doing the same thing. The bullpen can the blue the bullpen could cost the Blue Jays. And the Blue Jays get Batista back. They've had him back recently, but he missed about 30 games. Yeah, he missed about 30 games, and he hasn't been the same Batista that usually hits a lot of home runs, big run producer. But they added Melvin Upton Jr. in the outfield. They got some new speed into their lineup. That'll be good. He's a fourth outfielder, but he gives them some insurance. Uh, with Michael Saunders having a knee injury, Troy Tulowitzki's hitting, Josh Donaldson's hitting, their second base combo is hitting. They've got plenty of offense. The news, though, is if Bautista starts hitting and you add him to Tulowitzki and the rest of the lineup, don't, you don't have to worry about the Blue Jays scoring runs. They will. There's no doubt about that. The Boston Red Sox are in third place. What's their main strength? Well, I think it's offense all the way. They're not as powerful as the Orioles. They're not as powerful as the Blue Jays, but they do score a lot of runs. And it's interesting. Here, look at this graphic. They lead the American League with 561 runs. They're 60 runs ahead. 60 runs ahead of the second place team, which happens to be the Toronto Blue Jays. If you get Ortiz and Pedroia leading guys like Xander Bogarts, Jackie Bradley, and Mookie Betts, it's really a lethal combination. And those guys, they don't hit a lot of home runs, but boy, they can score a lot of runs. How about the Red Sox weakness? Oh, without a doubt, it's the pitching staff. David Price, the $217 million pitcher, he's been a mystery all year. It's not so much that he's got bad stuff. They like his slider. They like his curveball. They like his fastball. But, Tom, he has had location issues all year. And we're used to seeing David Price come into August and September and pitch on three days rest, mow down big opponents from the uh, – mow down big pitching um, – Pitching opponents, CC Sabathia type guys, pitching big games in August and September. The Blue, the, the Red Sox need him to do that in August and September. Whether he will or not, I don't know. But boy, he has been a big struggle. And the rotation in general is is weak. And I think you can make a case that the Red Sox have all three teams, the, the Blue Jays, Orioles, and the Red Sox, they certainly have the thinnest bullpen. So they got some age, they got some creakiness in their bullpen. I don't know. I don't know if the Red Sox can out-hit their pitching issues. Well, check out Mel Antonin on the Mid-Atlantic Sports Report weekdays from 5 till 6.30. We appreciate him taking some time to be with us.